Greetings, everybody. My name is Travis Guzzi. I'm the Mission Engagement Facilitator for the Central Region of the Southeastern District. And it's a joy and privilege to once again bring this latest edition of the IGO vlog to you. To empower you as everyday missionaries to connect with your neighbors in love and service in order to connect people to Jesus. Well, in this latest edition, the IGO vlog, we're continuing a conversation that we began in our last edition. And it's the idea of the prep work that we can begin to do as we prepare to share a good, the good news of the gospel, of all that Jesus is and what he has done uh, to the lives of people that we've been loving and serving and, and earning that right to speak into their lives. Well, in our last edition, we talked about the importance of active listening, and especially those three levels of listening, that, that deepest, that spiritual listening, that as we really truly listen to their story and their lives, that we begin to hear the, the cravings of their souls and the echoes within their hearts. So that when we go to proclaim the good news of the gospel, we can do so in a way that truly sounds like good news in a personalized way that prepares their hearts uh, like, like good soil so that when the seed is planted, it can take root, it can sprout, and it can grow and produce faith in their life. Well, today I want to talk about another tool that we can use for prep work, and it's the idea of asking powerful questions. You know, along with the uh, parables that Jesus taught, he also asked powerful questions. To the expert of the law, when he told the, the story of the Good Samaritan, which one of these was neighbor to the man beaten by the road? It revealed a, a need and a hardness within the heart of that person. Or perhaps we think about uh, when Jesus asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? And after getting a lot of different responses that, from the crowds, well, say, some say Elijah, some say John the Baptist, some say one of the prophets. He then brought it home in a personalized way to them. But who do you say that I am? To which Peter responds with that faith-filled response, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. You see, Jesus used these powerful questions along with the parables, like a wedge. That when he asked a powerful question, it either moved people towards him and the kingdom or away from him and the kingdom. But it never could leave you where you were. It produced movement. And you know, for me, when I have used powerful questions in my coaching that I've done with believers and, and also those who don't know who Jesus is, it does the same thing. You know, a powerful question can, first of all, create awareness within individuals. You know, sometimes we are so busy with our lives going here and there that we don't truly know what is going on in our hearts and our spirits. And so by asking a powerful question, you can get people to slow down and create that awareness of, of what are their hopes and dreams? What are their hurts and pains? And a powerful question can get people thinking about the, the, the deepest questions of life. I've experienced this many times. Questions about like, who am I? Why am I here? What is the purpose and meaning of life? Those are spiritual conversations and questions that we can have with people before we ever speak a word of Jesus and what the gospel is. And then, like the questions that Jesus asked, especially when we bathe it in prayer, asking the Spirit to work through them, that sometimes that powerful question can create movement in their life. Sometimes it might be a way, but it also might be towards Jesus and the kingdom, where by asking questions, and, and it reveals the, the need of their hearts and their lives, that then they might begin to ask you questions. Well, what is it that you believe in? What gives you hope? What gives you meaning and purpose in life? What defines your identity? And that gives us an opportunity then to be invited in to share the good news of the hope of the gospel that we have that can be for them as well. I hope that this IGO vlog has been a blessing to you. If you are interested in learning about some of the skills that, that I've used in coaching and I've seen effective in, in creating these spiritual conversations with people, both active listening and powerful questions, I encourage you to reach out to me. We've got some coach training available here in the Southeastern District that can help you to grow in these skills that you can even use in your love and service and outreach to your neighbors and those who don't know Jesus. Well, with that, I wanna wish you God's richest blessings as uh, we get ready to celebrate Thanksgiving uh, this, this coming next week. And uh, I pray that uh, God would bless you as you seek to be a blessing to your neighbors this time of year. God's blessings in Jesus' name, amen.